Barry, good morning. Welcome to Cricket AM at the start of another massive weekend in the world 2020. 12 teams started, eight remain, all of them in action over the next 48 hours as the race for the semis hots up. Yep, two games today and two more tomorrow, including that crucial game between England and India. It's going to be spectacular. And here's what we've got coming up for you this morning. It's Razzle Dazzle all the way with Bobby D and the Alpha Males. Brilliant! Oh, catch of the season so far. Fantastic from Coulson. A very busy morning ahead for us. Not quite so much on the Australia's agenda. So, Ricky and the boys, if you are watching from your Leicester bolt holes, <laughs> stay tuned because on the way is the real ashes. And joining us in the studio, these three. Jones starting to open his shoulders now. There's a big shout, he's gone. That'll do very nicely. Not many wicket keepers make centuries. He's absolutely ecstatic. Oh, hold it. It's a good shot from Dan Duscarta. Well, he's always got an innings in him, Ryan Dan Duscarta. That's fine bowling from Stephen Finn. <laughs> Big shout and out. Stephen Finn joins in. Joining us on the sofas this morning, we've got Middlesex quickie Steve Finn. We've got one of Holland's 2020 heroes, Ryan Tenderscarter, and Ashes winner, Geraint Jones. And getting ready to rumble in the Douglas Jardine Pavilion are our team of the week, Shipson on Stour Cricket. <laughs> Love a bit of the Usain Bolt, <laughs> enjoying that. Nice to see you lads, great to have you with us. They had a very good night last night, I've been led to believe. Mm. Now with all their S's in the right places, it's time to meet our Team of the Week. <laughs> Hi, I'm Spike, welcome to Shipston on Star Cricket Club. This is Kenny, he gets out LB so often, he has to knock his pads in. Oh, yeah! That's sad, as usual. This is Grumpy Neil. He loves the tantrum, but we're trying to get it out of him with loads of love and kisses. <laughs> this is Ron Murphy, our fantastic scorer for the last 40 years. Shame the younger Murphys can't always get it right. Come on, get it right. This is Shipston's famous slope that claims many victims every year. I like it, the stuntman bit at the end there. Shipston on Stour, everyone. All right, sit down, guys. Sit down. OK. Right, uh, so let's start. I was doing a little bit of research about you guys during the week. I uh, went to your website. Uh -oh. Now, I understand there's a poll running online as to who can make the biggest idiot out of themselves on the show this morning. <laughs> What's all that about? Well, Neil is our, uh, our webmaster. <laughs> you might want to ask him about that one. <laughs> There's plenty of candidates, though, I'm sure. Who's leading the voting at the moment? Uh, that'd be Spike. Sp <laughs> <laughs> well, he's halfway there, halfway there. OK, well, let's talk about... Um, we just saw you in there, Neil. You're so grumpy. Why? I can't believe they're saying that about me. Do I look grumpy? You look like a barrel of laughs to me. <laughs> <laughs> Should we see them on the dance floor last night? <laughs> <laughs> All right, perhaps you can tell me why you're so grumpy. Well, I, I, I don't believe it really, but he just doesn't get any runs. He just doesn't get any runs now. He's still, he's still trying to get his first hundred, but I have faith in him. I Something about his missus as well. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the, all the kisses you were giving him there, he can't be grumpy anymore. Um, also, I want to talk about uh, Ron, who we saw there, that keeps score. Veronica, Ron yeah. to her friends. Yes. Uh, she doesn't mess about, so I'll, I won't call her Ron because I'm not her friend yet. Um, but I understand that she's going off to do something quite important in Shipston. She is. She is the new mayoress of Shipston on Stow, no less. The first lady. And is she going to be keeping score for you? She will. She she absolutely loves it and she's there, come rain or shine, every week. And uh, she is our biggest supporter, no doubt. 
No oh, doubt. I like that. A mayor keeping score. Yeah. Um, right, and who else can, who can I talk to about that secret slope? Who took a tumble on it in the V? <laughs> <laughs> Great stuntman antics. Let's talk about that slope. Is it your secret weapon? How many people have taken a tumble there? Oh, it's quite a few, yeah. Um, lucky I'm wicket keeping now, so I don't have to uh, run up and down there anymore. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's been a few victims. Yeah, OK, lovely. Um, all right, then, guys. Well, thank you very much for that. It's an away day for the Shipston boys this afternoon against Leamington, is that right? Seconds are at Leamington, yeah. Oh, seconds are at Leamington. 2.30 start there. Cracking ground there. Flat as you like. Simon. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to Cricket AM. 2005, Ashes hero Garen Jones is about to join us. And over in the Douglas Jardine Pavilion, our team of the week, Shipston on Star Cricket Club, still making plenty of noise. The hangovers are beginning to abate. <laughs> Just. Just. They keep having little lapses, but they're hanging on in there. It's a good, good night in Hammersmith. <laughs> right. Bit of quiet now, though, please, boys, because uh, it's time to announce uh, last week's competition winner, and it's congratulations to Dermot Lynch from well Dublin, who on, correctly man. predicted that last Saturday's Team of the Week would hit the stumps five times in our bowl out. That's your challenge today, boys. Yeah, Beat five. Uh, so uh, congratulations, Dermot. Uh, T-shirt on its way to you, and if you fancy winning one of them... You'll have to take part in our Outback game this morning. <laughs> Look at our models. We tried to get Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe. And we got Tweedledum and Tweedledee. <laughs> yeah. Or is it Pinky and Perky? <laughs> right. If you want to win one of those T-shirts, guess how many times you think today's team of the week will hit the stumps in our 60-second bowl out coming up at the end of the show. To enter, UK viewers just need to text the word Outback, then a space, and the number of times that you think Shipston on Stour will be on target. Another space, and then your name and where you live to 84404. Republic of Ireland viewers, like Dermot, can now only enter via email. So send your, ga uh, your gas. Send your <laughs> gas. Tickets, gas. <laughs> what, Don't know what's right? wrong with me this morning. Cricket AM at skysports.com. I was out with the Shipston on Stour Boys last oh, night. Right. That's what it was. That, that's uh, where the gas is coming from. All our terms and conditions are on our website, skysports.com slash cricket AM. The winning entry will be randomly selected on Monday and we'll announce the winner on next week's show. Now, our first guest this morning was born in Papua New Guinea, went to school in Australia and won the Ashes for England. Lovely shot from Garen Jones. Jones has caught it on the rebound. Unbelievable. That is one of the best shots of the match. That'll do very nicely. one of the heroes of 2005 and he's still keeping it real for Kent ladies and gentlemen Geraint Jones on Star CC and Geraint Jones is still with us. Our next guest this morning is a rising star of the international game. Brian Ten Descarta, the ICC Associate Cricketer of the Year last year. Out! Out! Brian Ten Descarta is the boy. Ten Descarta goes long. That's an excellent strike. That is such a good catch. Smashed away. Would you believe it? Overthrow gives Netherlands a win. He was one of Holland's heroes last week at Lords. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Essex all-rounder Ryan Tenderscarter. <laughs> Final guest this morning is without doubt one of county cricket's most exciting young talents. Don't upset the river. Superb delivery. Done, done. Great piece of bowling. What a wicket that is. What a catch. 
Absolutely brilliant. That's fine bowling for Stephen Finn. Big shout out. Stephen Finn joins in. As you can see, he's a fearsome fast bowler with a six foot eight frame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Middlesex pace ace Steve Finn. <laughs> Boy, Steve. Weak. Do you know, I can smell, I can smell a barbecue. Sarah Jane, is there a spare sausage? Uh, we'll try and save one for you, Simon. Uh, right, I'm getting a real insight into how Shipston on Stour, our team of the week, prepare for their matches. They've been tucking into the barbecued goods, uh, supplied from Geraint Jones's farm, no less. Boys, how have they been going down? They're, well, there are not many of them left, to be quite honest with you. They go down very well with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obvious joke there, but I won't go there. Right, the boys are pre preparing for the bowl out. That's coming up uh, in a couple of minutes' time. Lines are closed for that, so don't call in, because you will be charged and your vote won't count. Uh, but first, should we bash the tash? OK, so you know how this works by now. Uh, our guests are going to bash the tash. There it is, right at the top. Very easy to get it down. It's getting up that's the hard bit. Uh, right, OK. Uh, Barry Norman is top of the tashometer with 100. Uh, can our guests beat that this week? Right. Uh, Simon, would you like to have um, your... Um, no, who wants to have a go first? <laughs> Steve will have a go first. Steve, do you want to grab the uh, bash? Yeah, I'll just then do bash that. the tash, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, if you want to get on the mark. OK, here we go. When you're ready. No pressure. Oh! Well, to be fair, it, you can have another go. To be fair, it was coming from about 12 foot up. OK. Here we go. Can I step forward a little? You can step forward a little if you like. Oh, 90 for Steve. Well done. OK, next. Ryan, if you'd like to uh, bash the tash. Here we go. All right, all right. Oh, we'll have to let you have another go because Steve had another go. Oh, 40. Geraint, yeah, OK. There we go, 40 for Ryan. To be fair, he is tired from the 2020. Imagine it's a lamb, Geraint. Here we go, Geraint. <laughs> oh, 50 for Geraint. OK, guys, well done. So here we go. Here's how the leader book, uh, board looks, our tachometer. Steve, 90, well done. Not quite as good as Barry Norman, but uh, there we go. We'll see how our guests get on in the forthcoming weeks. OK, right. Time for our bowl out. Would you like to take your places, team of the week? Quick as you can. OK, Geraint's going to keep wicket for us. Um, Ryan, would you like to get out in the field, take a few catches for us? And Steve with the scoreboard. Yep, yeah. just this one here. OK, 60 seconds on the clock, please, guys. OK, here we go. Bowl. Oh, oh straight to the face. There's one. Go now, guys. You want to do one ball each? See how the pros do it. Here we go. Right, okay, Steve, you go first. You should be good at this. Let's face it. Oh, okay, Ryan. Oh, get right. Oh, Steve, you saved a bit of face there. I like it. Would have been a disaster if you'd have missed. Okay, guys, uh, thanks very much for that. Simon, wrap up the show for us.